We're in escrow on the house, but until a buyer removes contingencies, it's not a done deal. Oh, are they coming? here? Yeah, but Terry believes I totally manifested this because on New Year's Eve, guess what I predicted was gonna happen this year? I wrote, sell our house for $60 million. I was five off. It's your favorite realtor. Yay! What's happening? Hi, Heather, how are you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I would show you the way to the dining room, but I think you know, oh, every, know. every inch of our house yeah, at this you're point. The man. Is this guy like the surgeon of. of no, what were you going to say? The Terry Dubrow I, of real estate? I was going to say. <laughs> I knew I you were going to say that. I was going to say he's the Terry Dubrow of real estate, but you know. <laughs> this is our dream house. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That means a lot to yeah. me. Thank you. You guys should be proud. You should be stoked. And just so you know, this is the third highest sale in the history of Orange County. Really? Third highest? And I see the best houses in the world. I haven't seen a house like this throughout my career. Yeah. How much time do we have? Not enough. Not much. You have to be out in three weeks. Have you started packing at all? No. <laughs> Well, that's the next question. Are you guys moving into a hotel? Max and Nikki are going to be home for a month mm. for Starting Christmas. When? So it's really the six of us yeah. that I need room for. Our LA apartment is a two bedroom apartment. That was supposed to be for me and Terry for someday. Not for now, and not with all those children. Heather is going to help Heather find a perfect lease. OK, Good. great. There's a couple high-end companies that we can reach out to. We need something bigger, something with more bedrooms. Maybe we just stay in the house. I mean, it's big. Will they even notice we're there? You guys, thank you so much for thank coming you. over. Thank you. Congrats. When we close, we're going to officially celebrate, OK? All right. Have Let's, a good night. Uh, enjoy you dinner. Too. Let's close you this up. Dinner. and. All right. Yeah. I'm going to grab the kids. Are you guys OK showing yourselves yeah. out? Yeah, of course. What, which way? Oh, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys. I love you guys. Bye. Thank you. They are so cool. They remind me of a younger version of us. That's what they said to me. Isn't that funny? This guy, he makes deals. Yeah. You're kidding me. They signed? Oh. You're kidding me. Signed? Yeah, baby. $55 million isn't you money. It's everybody you've ever known money. <laughs> How are you? Hey. What are you doing? They just signed. We just sold the house. <laughs> wow. That's it. Seriously? It's a solid deal. G6, baby. <laughs> So you're going to find me home right? Like G6, baby. The fact that I had the perfect bottle of Dom chilling. Best moment ever. It's the 2012. You know, I didn't like the 10. Hated the 10. No, the 10 wasn't good. Well, kids, yeah. you guys are moving. Yeah, we're going to find you a home. Life changing. Yes. Yeah. So thank you for that. Yeah. Cheers. We'll see you guys. Cheers, Cheers, man. Unbelievable. Beautiful. Hi. Look, I have half long hair. Are we planning to do the other side? <laughs> I just finished working out, so I'm a sweaty mess. Me too. Liar. <laughs> the doctor's office. What are you doing? I wanted to invite you. I'm going to do a little fall festival, a little party. Oh, I love that. I love fall. Celebrate the changing of the seasons the best we can in California. Uh, is everybody going? I should ask. Well, I'm just now calling all the ladies. And then the piano is staying or going, oh, am I going to put it in the apartment? I want to go measure. Let's carve some pumpkins and try not to stab each other with the carving tools. <laughs> Hi. 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 I'm Emily. How are you today? I'm good. How are you doing? Great. I need, like, to actually look at, like, a bike for, like, a female. OK. OK, what's something smaller? Something a little bit smaller? Yeah. They told me they had helmets there. Maybe I should buy something we like there. We got our motor clothes back here. Hi. 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 How are you? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we here? Oh my gosh, I didn't tell you? No, you were just like, can you meet me here? Oh, I what? failed to mention that I was going to take the motorcycle class to get my motorcycle license. 
Wait, <laughs> can't we just do like a less like that could kill you thing? Are you okay? I, I feel like this is good that you didn't tell me this. I have been looking forward to taking a motorcycle class because I just want to try new things. And I guess I got to this point in my life where I didn't want to talk about things anymore. I wanted to actually do them. I mean, they're really, they're pretty. I appreciate them. Shane thinks I'm insane. Do you think you'd be able to ride in your sidecar? He's sidecar sized. <laughs> this I looks see that's advanced. This looks combative. Very combative, <laughs> yes. Oh my yeah. gosh, speaking of combative, I had coffee with Jen. Yeah. And obviously I asked about how the dinner went that yeah. we didn't go to, yeah. and she said, like, Shannon was like, she's the reason that CPS didn't take my kids away from me. Why would CPS take your kids away? They wouldn't. Lots of people get DUIs, and for CPS to be involved, there would have to be a case, and there would have to be due diligence, and they would do interviews. I mean, Shannon did go to law school for like a year. I went to law school, but I, I dropped out after my second year. But I feel like in your first year, though, you would learn they're not going to come and just take Gina's children away. I'm like, what did I do to her? And to me, it's like, my name shouldn't have been brought up, period. Mm -hmm. I haven't done anything to Shannon. I think clearly Shannon just doesn't like you. Yeah. But this is a whole nother level. Oh, yeah. She has zero respect for me. Mm -hmm. And it is so upsetting to me that like, you get yourself to a place where you're finally doing good and somebody's sole mission mm -hmm. is to just tear you down. It's four years ago that I made a mistake, and Shannon is such a good friend, and she helps me so much by never letting anybody ever forget. She was about to get oh, arrested so until I saved her. You saved okay. her? You constantly are bringing up the fact that you got me in touch with myself. I did. And every time she brings it up, it gets worse and worse and worse. The next time I meet a new friend, I'm gonna be a murderer. Oh, how do we get her out? Getting the <laughs>